What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to take a look at the all new 2024 Prism Copa America first off the line hobby box from Panini. These dropped on the Panini website as a Dutch auction format starting at 750 bucks and sold out around the $438 mark. And I know a lot of you have been waiting to see this and trust me, I'm just as excited as you guys are uh, to see what's in this box. So as always, we're here to show you guys what this product is all about. So let's get right into it. If you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing if you haven't already. Really helps out the channel and really, really helps us grow and helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that awesome stuff. And when you click on eBay search links on this page and make a purchase, it can result in us earning a commission, which also supports us in the long run as part of the eBay Partner Network. Just an FYI, and thank you for all your support, guys. And all right, look at this blue packs. I feel like we haven't seen blue packs for soccer in a while, or like we just don't really see them in general. Could just be me. But let's put this center stage. Wow, look at that. So it is going to be a 12 by 12 format classic for Prism. Uh, so we're getting 144 cards total. And we should be getting four to five numbered cards per box, uh, including one blue shimmer out of seven. Uh, and also a blue shimmer auto, uh, not numbered, but typically SSP. Um, and yeah, that's going to be exclusive to this specific box. If you don't know what first offline is, it's like this little, you know, stamp right here. Basically kind of comes from the meaning first off the line first off the press whatever you want to call it from panini directly and actually let me show you guys all the sides of the box that i didn't do earlier but this is what most people are going to be interested in you guys can pause it to see what uh exactly you're going to get from these but i'll put up a reference table on the screen for you guys as a visual to see all the parallels and as you guys uh, can see the print run on this set looks much lower than the 2022 world cup of course uh, well, Prism, that is, that we saw a couple years ago almost, uh, which is nice, but obviously it's not the same scale in terms of tournament size either or popularity. But in terms of case hits, uh, we are looking at the same ones from that same World Cup set as well. And those are going to be the manga inserts, National Pride, National Landmarks, and the Super Rare Color Wheels. And some of those images will be on the screen at this point. But moment of truth, guys. Let's take a look at pack number one and see... We actually, I want to check this pack or the back of this pack first, see if there's any information about blue shimmers or I don't think it will. All right. Anyway, we'll get to that in a sec. But here is pack number one, guys. No idea what to expect. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we are. For Colombia, starting us off is going to be Rafael Borre. We have Alexis Sanchez, Lasanti, Guimaraes. Carrillo, and obviously I'm not going to do this for every single pack, guys. I don't typically don't read all the names for you guys. Oh, look at that, Michael Antonio, Jamaica, Costa Rica, Bennett, Raul Jimenez, and what is this? That is going to be our first blue shimmer. I don't really want to reveal it right now, but I want to get as close to it as possible. We have Denzel Smith, and we have Sergio Aguero. Love to see it. Let me actually set this one down. I don't know if it's going to be the auto. Typically, the auto is like flip like this since it's an insert but wow so far clean design um i'm loving it I'm digging it might not exactly be the design that's offering the world cup because that design in my opinion was very very beautiful but this comes very very close so we'll see uh we'll see what kinds of cards we get from these all right so this is very very typical you know for a lot of hobby products you are getting a lot of cards at least for panini um, so 12 cards per hobby pack. This is a, you know, even though it's a first off line, if you've never seen first off line before, this is still a hobby box. It's just a special hobby box. Let's just put it that way. But Luis Diaz is going to be our first, wow, look at that hair. Um, our first parallel is going to be hyper. Uh, I'm guessing from what I've seen before, we might get two of these per hobby box. So let's set that one over there. And that was, was that pack number two already? Time flies when you're having fun. But guys, in terms of the, like what you can actually get from these first offline boxes compared to the regular hobby boxes, that is what's really kind of blowing my mind. Uh, the fact that you can get Nebulas. Uh, okay, we got our second blue shimmer. I wonder, oh my God, I wonder if this is gonna happen again. So the 2023-24 EPL first offline box, we got like six blue shimmers from one box, which was crazy. That is not normal. Typically you only get one, but um, yeah, well, we're gonna find out together here um 
what we're gonna get from this box. All right, there's our first silver Morion. Let's put him over there. And our first blue shimmer. I don't think it's gonna be an auto because it looks like the regular design. Is that gonna be Mexico? Santi? No, I don't think so. I don't see the, where's the player? All right, Edson Alvarez. All right, look at that. So four Mexico should be out of seven. There it is, let me show you guys. Four out of seven. Absolutely love it. So the parallels actually hit really nice. Maybe not so much the hyper because it's like kind of all over the place, but look at that. Look at that shimmer. Let's put this guy in the back for now. Again, um, I have a feeling this is another blue shimmer because like I said, the autos are typically flipped, but we'll find out here pretty soon. But yeah, guys, um, the fact that they added nebulas in these, I feel like I was like talking about it and then I got thrown off. Uh, it's crazy because typically see that in choice or like Tmall products and then there is Endrick. This is the first time we see his image. Actually, I want to kind of give you guys a close-up of it, but there it is. Trying to have no glare on it as well. I was expecting a different image, but we'll take this one. This is going to be the Chase Rookie, which we'll talk about here in a sec. But yeah, having nebulas in these is pretty wild. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see... Um, black one of ones from these boxes, even though, actually, hold on, I'll show you guys here in a sec. But the back doesn't say anything about blue shimmer. All right, uh, hopefully, hopefully this is a dual auto because I think it's horizontal. That'd be pretty crazy. And Colombia logo. So you can also get these in different parallels, I think all the way up to 25, so like one of one and then five green gold to kind of like the World Cup. If you're familiar with the World Cup, this product follows a very, very, very similar format. If not, check it out. Probably link in the description down below. World Cup Prism Review 2022. So first, or technically, our first regular numbered card. Let's put them over here. And um, yeah, talking about rookies. Um, guys, I'm, I'm trying to take this all in. So I'm kind of all over the place. Um, I'll go back to that in a sec because I mentioned that I was going to show you guys the back. So you see how it doesn't say anything about nebulas or blue shimmers. It says black. So I wonder if you can actually get nebula one of ones from these first off line boxes uh, as well um, as all the other you know parallels from hobby. So nebula black and the blue shimmer and like all the other ones. That would be pretty crazy. That means you could potentially get um, multiple one of ones from a single format. There is John Duran. So this is the second or third rookie that you're going to be chasing from the set. So obviously Endrick, John Duran, and then Kendry Paez. Um, wonder when we're going to see him. We might have seen him, but might have skipped over him. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, 200 base set checklist. Here is connections. And let's put that silver over here. So that's it's like our fourth or fifth insert. But yeah, the reason why I'm letting the auto obviously marinate is because we typically always do that. So we're probably going to take a look at that blue shimmer pretty soon, which means we might have gotten an extra blue shimmer. But one of the younger talents to also keep an eye out for from this term. I mean, the term is over at this point, but yeah, he was a rookie in 2022 World Cup Prism. And here is Angel Di Maria. I was actually wondering what these cards were going to look like because they only showed us like a, like a green version for some reason. Contendientes a la Copa. All right. So that's what it looked like. I thought the background was like blue shimmer from some of the images, but guys, taking this all in one step at a time, I don't believe... Uh, there are any videos or images of any of the cards out there right now. So hopefully This can be a learning process for all of us at the same time. If there's something that we Haven't figured out then we'll figure out together and For the hobby box review which should come out um, next week at some point uh, We might add a few more rookies, but I mean there's not like honestly that many that would want to chase and it looks like we have uh, I was going to say red, white, and blue, but I think it's stars and stripes. I'd love to see it. This should be numbered out of 24, like we saw on the table. 24 for Copa America 2024, of course. But can we can we get an Endrick? That would be pretty crazy. I don't think it's... Oh, it's a rookie, but it is... Okay. <laughs> Joel Leti Buder. I can't say I know this player. That was my best attempt at pronouncing his name, 17 out of 24. But we got a rookie for Jamaica, Stars and Stripes. 
the white really looks nice. I mean, if they had white prisms, that'd be a perfect scenario for us. But unfortunately, that does not exist in this set. And something that's actually going to be a massive game changer, in my opinion, for these like first offline boxes is whether or not the blue shimmers, um, you know, apply to only the base cards. I mean, we'll have to see like way more of these boxes to kind of make a decision. But if they only gave blue shimmer to the base cards, then the, sh the print run on this is extremely, extremely short and it's going to be crazy. It's basically going to be like two nebulas per case or something. Um, but either way, even if they did give the, there's Luis Diaz again. Even if they did give the blue shimmers uh, to the inserts as well, there's Guillermo Vizcarra. Um, it would still kind of put you at around like one nebula per first off line case. So pretty wild stuff, guys. And I promise you, I'm not going to forget about this blue shimmer. Uh, we'll take a look at it after this pack, which will leave us with three packs to go. All right. Trying to control the glare here because Prism is just gonna keep doing its thing. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of players that I haven't seen since the World Cup set, which is kind of nice, kind of semi-nostalgic. There's Amari Bell. Put him over there with the non-numbereds. And Moises Caicedo with Kendry Paez. So, a rookie and a non-rookie on the same card, they're typically not gonna put a RC logo on it, which kind of makes sense, but there's what I believe is our first sighting of Kendry. I know I said I was gonna show you guys the blue shimmer, and I will. So I'm not I'm not trolling you guys. I'm just gonna set this down. Let's take a look at this second. Wait, it's totally not blue shimmer. It's just regular blue. I thought it was blue shimmer. Did you guys catch on to that? If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Cause yeah, I feel uh, a little uh, not cheated here, but my eyes deceived me. All right, 44 out of 110. So this is gonna be blue. I'm glad they lowered the numbering on this. Sebastian Caceres, and let's have him join those guys over there. So one, two, three, four. I believe Blue Shimmer is typically extra. So that's why you said four to five. The box says you're getting four numbered cards per box, but they're, I'm guessing, using the generic uh, printing for all the hobby boxes, whether they're first off the line or not. And we have a nice Julian Alvarez, silver. Let's put him over there. And we have a rookie. Is that Canada? It is. Jason Russell Rowe. I almost said Russell Crowe there. Um, speaking of Russell Crowe, Gladiator 2 should be coming out sometime soon. Um, this is not an advertisement for it. I just, you know, thinking of things that you see uh, everyday life. So if you haven't seen Gladiator 1, definitely check it out. It is such an amazing movie. But anyway, that was Russell Crowe stemming from the Canadian rookie Russell Rowe. All right. So, like I said earlier, this set is, uh, you know, obviously, wow, I did not expect to see this guy, especially in like a RC. Benja Kremaski, one of the chases from the MLS sets from Tops. But now you can also get him from Copa America Prism. Nicolas de la Cruz. And let's have him join the non numbered parallels over there. Last pack before we get to the auto guys. Uh, if you do want to join a group break of this specific product, first offline, we are running a case break. Uh, we're going to drop the spot sometime uh, this weekend uh, on the Discord, Instagram, or website. So definitely um, hang out. Don't go anywhere. See when the drop happens. Because the only reason it's taking forever is because pricing for it is kind of difficult. Because we need to kind of split the checklist and all that stuff and see who's, you know, going to have more weight than others. But here's our last hyper. Like we said, we are getting probably two per box. Let's put the insert over here. And Russell Rowe is covering Damari Gray, a player that I have only seen in Premier League sets. He might have existed in other ones as well. I just haven't seen him. But this is the first time that I see him wearing a yellow and green. But let me actually move these out of the way. I feel like the blue shimmer in the back has been covered by all these base cards. All right, moment of truth, guys. No idea what to expect. Hopefully, it's not a filler dual auto. But imagine if it's a Messi and Maradona. That is going to be the chase dual auto from this entire thing. Uh, I almost don't want to spoil it. What is that? IIE? Maybe it's just a horizontal auto? I don't know. Everton. 
Everton for Brazil. Not Everton in the Premier League, but Everton in Brazil. All right, there we go. So we got horizontal auto, blue shimmer. Not the best one that you could hope for to get from this. Obviously, the ceiling is super, super high for autos. The auto checklist is actually pretty stacked. You know, we have Pele, Maradona, rest in peace. Uh, their autos are actually, you know, getting more scarce every single day uh, that passes. But this is the auto that we ended up with. It is a Everton for Brazil. So there it is. It's just kind of funny. His name's Everton. I'm sure it's pronounced differently. But um, actually, let's do a recap since we're done with all the packs. Here are our numbered cards. And we actually only... Okay, so one, two, three, four. So yes, that one is going to be extra. Blue Shimmer is probably one of the better ones out there, depending on what team you root for. Four out of seven. Typically, they're out of eight. I wonder why they changed it. But we have two reds. These are going to be the highest numbered cards from this entire set out of 199. Uh, at least I don't think they're going to have higher numbers in retail boxes. And then we have blue out of 110, and we have stars and stripes. I don't think you're going to see a lot of these, so I'm glad we pulled one of these. 17 out of 24. I'm sure someone is going to probably put a set together for these. And, of course, our auto, International Ink. They do have signatures and International Ink, just like... Uh, World Cup, but I'm guessing International Ink is all going to be uh, horizontal by the looks of it. And, you know, according to this image as well, Darwin Nunez. But how do we feel about this set, guys? Uh, I'll put up the rating on the screen while we talk about it. But starting with the design, I personally really, really like it, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's pretty unique, clean, simple, can't go wrong with Prism. Uh, although, you know, I feel like it just needs just a little extra something to make it out of this world, kind of like the World Cup 2022. But obviously design is subjective and can differ person to person in terms of opinion. But um, anyway, base set size, uh, definitely an improvement compared to other mainstream sets out there. But again, you know, they only have so many teams to work with. And of course, they added two extra teams in this that weren't in the main tournament. And the launch price is still unknown for the main hobby boxes, like what that's going to be. And we are going to find out on the Panini website in a few days. But the first offline boxes were actually pretty good, in my opinion, given the print run. And this rating is obviously for the set as a whole. But, you know, honestly, you can safely assume that first offline boxes are going to be rated a bit better than the regular hobby boxes in terms of, you know, how many cards you're getting uh, per box and like all the different exclusives in it. But I really wish we'd get at least like one more number card per box. Um, you know, overall. So here we got five, like it would have been better to get six and then a hobby better to get five than four. You guys get the point, but, uh, you know, I totally get how they probably don't want to make it an even shorter printed set, even though I'm sure most of us would be more than happy with that. Uh, but yeah, uh, like we said earlier, uh, the auto checklist is pretty stacked, uh, with big legends, crazy combos, and the good auto ratio itself is slightly above average, uh, which is kind of a good thing, but I feel like it could have been just a bit higher. Like they could have done a slightly better job with like maybe some of the other teams getting those players autos and stuff. But regardless, uh, the price, print run, uh, and cards in these, you know, make a really nice combo for value. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nice thumbs up for sure. Uh, you can almost always count on Prism. You know, Chrome Sock is super popular, super durable. And, you know, depending on how Endrick performs in the next few years, the long-term value for these boxes could be very, very promising, especially the first off the line ones. So um, actually, yeah, let me just show you guys the non-numbered parallels that we got. I forgot to kind of do a recap on that. So we got one, two, three, four, five silvers, two hypers, and then we got one cracked ice and one pink. So that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Stick around for more content, group breaks, and giveaways. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.